She's a very smart lady. <laughs> I believe. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Oh, this is gonna be really sad having to explain this. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. <laughs> yep. Um, Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Because, you Strange know, man, we were just talking about you. All of us. Um, at the bar. Here. I just need to talk I to Holly. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. <sighs> he said it looked like Snow White. Sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. I did not Baby, torture him. come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of um... trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I right? don't want any more. So up. just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? Um, be gentle. On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Oh, crap, this sucks. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. Why is he being an asshole? Not him, the other guy, Jack. Like, come on, dude. Just told her that her sister is dead. God fucking yeah. damn it. Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. What? Where Rude. were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared uh -oh. for. She might have been. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. <sighs> oh, she's getting mad. She went from sad to mad. Oh, wait. Back to sad again. Okay, I thought she was gonna, like, blow up and go all, like, trolly and be like, Roar, I'm a troll, but she didn't do that. She's still sad, which is good. I mean, not good. But better that she doesn't destroy all of us in here. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. What? I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. What the hell? Why is everyone being so mean to Snow? What the hell does she ever do? I mean, I understand that your sister is dead, right? And everyone thinks that it's Snow, but there's no need to be it. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought... You might like to have it. I... I 
didn't know she still had this. The copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Smells great. She's beautiful. She's kind. There's no reason to hate Snow. She's the best. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch her with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. So two hooks. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Pudding and Holly, pie. Holly, it's okay. Fees. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? Um... <laughs> Lily. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. But that's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. Some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. That should be fine. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. I've been good with everyone this entire really? time! Thanks. It just made everything easier. I've literally been friendly to everyone through this entire thing. I haven't been mean to one person. Everyone thinks I'm such an asshole. I'm not. I'm a nice guy. I, I'm a nice man. <laughs> What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. Because I don't want to come You're in always here. welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? Both. I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this hey, time. Hey, hey, her ribbon! The You're ribbon! You're in luck. He's here. Come the on. ribbon! Do they all wear ribbons? Because they have had that ribbon on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. We're onto something. And he's in kind of a mood right now. Uh, I don't I mean, care. more so than usual. I don't much care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. Great. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Thank you. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Um, Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? 
My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. This is how we provide music for the club. Okay. Oh, am I gonna have to set to this? Oh, no. Folks, <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Um, Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Good luck. She has a ribbon on too, which means that faith. It's your face. You never smile. Me. You never smile. How many times do you have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients. Hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Well, you Keep had dancing, you. two girls say stop. from your club be murdered. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. You, Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Uh, no, or, thank uh, you. Knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like for the right price. Uh, I'm not here for up. that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> You just stopped in for the chips, then? Stopped in for you. Jesus, Big B, you're Thank so you. corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Uh, do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's you know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. Right? I am the law. The 13th High five. floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows um. his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Now look at him. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Okay. Anyway, now to do with me. Go on, then. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. You suck. You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it. Bloody bastard fucking shit. You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Yes, I am. Fuck's sake. What a nice, splendid man. Uh, Hans is- Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. 
No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes. Oh, he knows something. Look at him. Look at his End face. Story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girl and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. <laughs> Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. Dude, you're being such an asshole. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Uh-huh, yep, 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 yep. Heard it all before, you're an asshole. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. I will smash everything. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Hand it over while you still can. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, is this a uh, trap door? Is it? Is it? Is it? Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Oh, uh, yes. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sure you Sheriff, don't. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. I'm not going to hurt him. I don't want to hit him with the thing. That's, Give it to me. Be painful. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Smash sign. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've had enough of you. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Why, thank you, kind sir. I only have to break one thing, I guess. Bloody come on, then! Prick. No, oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Sweet. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I'm gonna I love go the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Oh, yes, please do. You've had two girls murdered from your club, so... Ah, uh, that's kind Hello. of concerning, sir. business office. Let's go talk to this lady. Cosmetics. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Every stripper needs glitter. It's a fact. Faith, 
Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. What apartment? Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Hmm. Lock's been busted open. That's weird. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. It's a note that's in there. Uh, guess there's nothing else that I can find out about this, huh? Oh, there's a mirror. Faith. Guess I'm just gonna keep looking at the cosmetics. <laughs> There's nothing else to pick up, right? No, okay. Where is she? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Um, I keep hearing that. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. Well, I mean, I'm not here for what you think I'm here for. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Once upon a time. No way! Does that help? No. You have legs. Had a what the hell? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. My That's name is the Nerissa. Little Mermaid? Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. That is the little freaking mermaid. Did you see Lily last night? You know, where she went or who she was with. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. These lips are sealed, huh? It's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Oh my god, dude. But Sheriff Please. Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes, I see what you're getting at. Wink, wink. Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Um, sure. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Okay, well this is weird. Frickin' the Little Mermaid. What the hell? <laughs> no, this is wrong and it, wrong and weird. And wrong. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm, this is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. 